Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is Inside God's Big Fish and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Jonah chapter 2 verses 1 and 2. Then Jonah prayed to the Lord his God from inside the fish. He said, I cried out to the Lord in my great trouble and he answered me. I called to you from the land of the dead and Lord, you heard me. The last day, we started looking at the story of Jonah and we concluded that sometimes God's mercy can mimic an attack of the enemy because it may cause us temporary pain, but will always, always be for greater good. So, Jonah had been swallowed by the big fish sent by God. And look what verse 2 says. Then Jonah prayed to the Lord his God from inside the fish. It took Jonah being in the dark, scary belly of a big fish to turn his attention to the God who all this while had been seeking his attention. Sometimes God needs to take drastic actions in order to get our attention. Outside the belly of the fish, rather than look towards God, Jonah fled away from God. Rather than take his concerns to God, he continued to run in the opposite direction or what he thought was the opposite direction. For in actuality, there is no such thing as an opposite direction when it comes to God's positionality as he is everywhere. In the fish, Jonah realized quickly that there was only one person he could call to. The Lord, his God. That scripture doesn't just just say he called to the Lord. It says he called to the Lord, his God. Jonah was in a relationship with this God prior to this time. He was his God, but he had temporarily disconnected from his fellowship with this God. In the belly of the big fish, there was only one person Jonah could call onto, the Lord, his God. There was an automatic recalibration of his focus. There was nowhere else to turn. Could it be that your big fish experience is God calling you to reconnect with him? Could other people have taken his place in your life? Could ministry or many other activities have stolen all your time and disconnected you from him? Or is it family that has caused you to totally abandon your secret place? Have you become so busy that God needs to get your attention in one way or the other? I know people who even in the belly of the big fish are still not calling on to their God. The sooner we realize that there is no help in any man or woman, the better and faster we will normalize calling out to God. If God has caused the big fish situation in your life as an act of his mercy and you are still not calling out to him as you should, you are honestly playing in dangerous territory and no pun intended. Look at verse 2 again. It says, I called out to the Lord in great trouble. I called out to the Lord from the land of the dead and you, Lord, heard me. I'm encouraging someone to refocus, forget the hurt, forget the pain, difficult as it may be, forget the shame and look up to the only one who can rescue from the land of the dead in the belly of the big fish and show you are looking up. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Lord, this morning, I do not downplay the pain some of us may be going through in our dark situation. But Lord, I pray for the grace to set our gaze on you until our rescue comes. We repent for taking our eyes off you in the first place. And we receive the grace, whether in or out of the belly of the fish, to remain focused on you. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.